Hey everyone, welcome to Light Dash. I'm gonna quickly run you through some of the most important features to help you get started. So here's the homepage. This is a really common place you'll land when you first open Light Dash, if you've never used the tool before. And right here at the top, you have some of the most important dashboards and charts that your data team have pinned for you. So this is a great entry point. So for example, here, I'm gonna start with this KPI dashboard that's been made available to me on the homepage. So this dashboard is for a company that sells plants. And so it's an e-commerce company and this dashboard is tracking their orders and their revenue over time. And immediately you can see across the top, I have these numbers that represent my most important metrics. And I can see here the total number of orders that have been fulfilled, how that changes month over month. And there's a lot of interactivity inside of dashboard that come out of the box. So every light dash dashboard, you have the ability to filter the dashboard. So here I can say, only show me orders for, from our partner, the Garden of Sweden. So I can filter that here and it's gonna go around and just update everything on my dashboard to show me all of the orders, for example here, 12 orders that came from the Garden of Sweden in the last month. I'm gonna revert that to where it was. I also have the ability to drill into these individual charts and there's a lot of charts you get out of the box so you can create bar charts, line charts, complex tables that you can interact with, and donut charts if that's something that you like. Uh, and so you have the ability to create this yourself. But usually when you start, you would look at a piece of content that someone's made for you. So that's gonna do something a little bit more complex. Here I can see that I have, for every week, the total number of users that have signed up. I can actually change the time granularity of the dashboard by just clicking up here and changing it to month. And it's gonna change our reporting from weekly to monthly. This sometimes is a huge effort um, and you have to put in a request to the data team to say you want your report updated from a weekly report to a monthly one. But here you can just do it with the click of a button. And I'm interested to learn here that we've had 145 new users sign up um, this month. So I can click on this and what I can do is I can view the underlying data. And this is gonna show me all of those 140 or so users that signed up in the month. So I can drill through the individual records there. Um, and this is live data, so this will always be up to date. I can export this, but I can also press this, uh, explore from here. And this is gonna take me into the part of Light Dash where you can create a chart from scratch. So I'm gonna jump into that now and show you a little bit on how to create your own content. So here I'm in the Explorer and I'm exploring users. And if you remember, I clicked on a bar that showed the 140 users that had signed up in the current month. And you can see that this has already been set up for me here at the top. And so let's go and look at on what days these users signed up. So you can see here are the days at which each of the individual users signed up. And then I did that by asking for the total number of users and splitting it by day. Instead of seeing the users per day, I could also see the total number of users by the browser that they signed up with. So I can run this and this is gonna show me a graph that most people signed up with Chrome and then Safari and then Edge for example. And so this self-service experience here means you don't have to write any code. Under the hood, Light Dash is actually writing all of the code for you and executing it against your company's data. You don't have to write this yourself. You just need to know what total users means and what each of these attributes mean. And you can group users by any of these attributes. If you're happy with the results, you can also export these um, as a CSV to do some further analysis or even to Google Sheets. So if I click Google Sheets here, this is gonna open a new Google Sheet with all of that information in it. So there's a lot of ways to get data out of Light Dash and to play with it. And the great thing here is that this data will always be up to date. Um, and it also comes from the semantic layer in Light Dash, which is essentially the trusted uh, data querying layer that we have. And so your data team will encode what things like revenue and total users mean. So you never have to calculate them for yourselves because Light Dash will know how to do that because it's been programmed in for you. And lastly, you can set up scheduled deliveries. This is something that's really popular inside of Light Dash. So I'm just gonna jump back to the home page here and open that KPI dashboard again. And rather than exporting data as a one-off, you can set up a regular export to your email address, to a group of email addresses, or perhaps even um, to a Slack so that you can see something in a Slack channel. And so here I can see somebody set up a weekly uh, report. And so that every week they're sending an image of this dashboard uh, and there's a lot of ways to customize what the users see and the filters that are available there. There's a, there's a lot of configuration that you have available to you. So this is just the starting point for Light Dash. Um, please reach out if you have any questions.